Hello everybody and welcome to the Daily Pigeon. My name is Andy Bumatai and I will be your host. That's right. Here we play custom made music videos, most of which feature places in Hawaii and we editorialize Hawaii news items. The reason we do that, cause plenty of people that watch this show stay migrated and they like know what's going on. And we speak small kind pigeon English. No, it's not the Hawaiian language, but eh, and try eh. Anyway, let's take a look at what we'll be editorializing today, okay? The first one, mm, I know, Taiwan earthquake. Nope, no tsunami threat to Hawaii. Japan, that's more kind, okay? And then, what about renaming the big island of Hawaii? I call it the big island, sometimes Hawaii island, but they need one official name, the chain, okay? Now, Maui vacation rentals? I know, controversy, long time. Local people feel it's driving up the prices. We're gonna talk about that a little bit, okay? Also, <clears throat> there's a recording studio, state of the uh, uh, art, that they built in a high school, you know, to <clears throat> promote that kind, right? And then, what happened? Oh. Golf ball damage. I know you're on the edge of your seat for this one, and you think you had problems. Yep, we're going to examine that. And then, lastly, teen driver takes his truck, burn robber, earth cannot stop, Wahiwa Harbor. Boom, inside. You'll be surprised at how that turned out. 
Okay? Now, let's say how's it to some of the Hammer Jang gang. Right here, gangy. Let's see. Oh, hey, there's Steve Danielson coming in. Aloha, Andy and gangy. Let me back up a little bit, say hi to a few people that uh, kind of moved up in the ranks. Hey, Scotty boy. Aloha. Ooh, just small kind. There's Devin, one of our moderationists. Lady Misty, aloha no. Nani aloha, not only a moderator, but an associate producer here on the Daily Pigeon. Shakalaka, how you, beef stool? Mahalo, sorry. <laughs> she was on threads and she goes, today is official backup day. And I, I responded with, good thing my truck is re reverse. And she said, mm, smart okole. But she never said okole. I know. I said, how's it to Steve right there walking on York's Beach after a session of shacks, right? Ooh, ooh, a band name, Golf Ball Damage. Ooh, yeah, right. What kind of music would they play? Dimpled? A Watts 45. Are you? And there's Edward Devine. I got to go kind of fast here, so I'm not really reading all of them. How's it, Suzanne? Aloha no. Hawaiian Ellen. Namaste Zen coming in. All right. And there we go. Okay. So that's pretty much everybody right there till I catch up. So let's do our... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, jumping in K-Mac. Mad Statter. By the way, Mad Statter, I redid the people who are members and I accidentally added a big Z to your name at the end. You'll see it when I run those credits. I was trying to update and ah, slip. No kind. Okay. Mama Sean, how's it? Andy and Gangi. Namaste Zen saying, how's it to Mad Statter? Mad Statter, by the way, has her own show. I was lurking. Um, I, was it yesterday? But uh, whenever she's on, because I get alerts and I go, oh, boom. But um, she has her uh, show on Twitch, Chatter with Statter, and also on YouTube. Simul blasting. There we go. <laughs> Zakalaka. No, uh, sh uh, shock. It was um, Mad Statter that I added the Z to, but I like Zakalaka. Sounds uh, like another band. You, and you can have your opening act and be golf ball damage. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so now uh, let's do our uh, first editorialized video. And again, this one is about the um, Taiwan earthquake. <sighs> I know. At least four people are dead after a powerful earthquake in Taiwan today. Officials say the 7.4 quake is the strongest wow. quake the country has seen in nearly 25 years. Le Leaning Tower of Taiwan. Reports say three of the victims were hikers who died in rock slides, and there are many others injured. The earthquake also caused a small tsunami in Japan. Officials say there was no threat for Hawaii, but this comes just a day after the start of Tsunami Awareness Month. <laughs> Experts are now urging residents to be prepared because they say it's only a matter of time before another one hits the islands. Wow. The earthquake that rocked Taiwan is a stark reminder of how quickly and unexpectedly a tsunami can be triggered. Experts say a tsunami just three feet high is already enough to cause damage. A tsunami that size can bring with it very strong currents. So any activity that's going along the coastline would be affected. Anyone on the beach, swimming and surfing could be in serious danger because a tsunami wave isn't one that can be surfed. If such a tsunami would occur at high what? tide, um, it also might have a, it, um, induce a small amount of flooding in the area. I met with Hirotoya, Honolulu's Department of Emergency Management Director. It is fortunately a rather rare event, not something that we have to go through all the time. And uh, it also... Okay, this is slightly off topic, but wouldn't this guy make an excellent villain in a James Bond movie? Okay. Sorry. Come on. It doesn't come with seasons like hurricanes or our rainy season. He admits that can make it harder to prepare. So he's urging everyone to know their zones. Find out if their home or workplace is in a tsunami evacuation zone. There are a number of signs along many roadways like this one here on P.E. Koi Street, letting people know when they're leaving a tsunami hazard area. And everyone 
pays attention to these sounds, uh, signs, Garen Ball Baron. Additional signs warn those entering an inundation zone and the need to get to higher ground in the event of a tsunami. Toya says there are two types of evacuation zones, the normal zone in pink and the extreme zone in yellow, which is worst case scenario. If it's a uh, large enough incident, uh, the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center would initiate public notification right away. Uh, of course, with tsunamis, time is really of the essence. Wireless emergency alerts would set off cell phones, TVs, and radios, in addition to the outdoor emergency sirens. When that happens, Weinstein says you already want to have a plan in place. There is going to be another great earthquake in the Pacific that's going to generate hazardous tsunami waves that will reach Hawaii. It's uh, not a matter of if, just a matter of when. Oh. Great. Log on to KH12.com for more information on tsunamis and to find out if you're in evacuation zone. Okay, so I live uh, in Mililani, which is like in the middle of the island and one of the highest places. If a tsunami hits us, <clears throat> we're in bad shape. But wasn't it weird to hear the term small tsunami? I don't know. I mean, I guess tsunami isn't about, I think of tsunami, you know, like movie people. And I got to tell you what, if a tsunami hits and this happens in Hawaii, you know, the big ones, the water retracts. <laughs> yeah, I know. And all the tourists run out there. Oh, look how shallow it is. And then boom, I know. So a bunch of tourists and uh, TikTokers are always taken out. Oh, mean lot of Let's go to the big board and see what people have to say. Oh, um, <laughs> you're right. You're, you're where everyone is going to evacuate to. I know. Hey, Chowski, how you better? Aloha no, ma. There we go, right there. <laughs> oh, man. SD Dodger, aloha nani, aloha man, Statter, and namaste zen. Hey, Sal Salvador Jr., how are you? Aloha, y'all, from the big island of Texas. Well, we, we, uh, our next story is going to be about renaming the big island. So you may be from the Hawaii island of Texas or <clears throat> the island of Hawaii, Texas. Or Okay. Hey. Hi, June Kabasic. Aloha, Andy and Gangi. Right on. Hey, Kenny Rogers in the holly right there. Aloha. Thursday, Hamajang gang, mahalo for being here. And option says, tsunami. Guess I would uh, have to run up the stairway to heaven. Yeah, I hope you're in shape, bro. Hey, there's Rick S., another one of our moderationists. Thank you for helping out, Rick. How's it, Andy? Uh, Andy Bumatai and the Hamajang gang. Who showing face, checking in. I thought I heard the punch clock hit. I know. There you go. Okay. <clears throat> Mililani boats for rent. <laughs> Ooh, I better start stocking up. Maybe I can make some money. Yeah, how's that? I still like Big Island. I know I say Big Island too because it's the biggest island. Ah, uh, well, anyway. Hmm. And June says uh, we are underwater. Can't see where the three rivers meet. Oh man, don't know what that where exactly that is, June, but. Sound <gasps> cereal, pass out the tandem board when you let go 7 Eleven. How's that? Oh, now ah, let's see. Sneaking in back row, small kind. Oh, Rick, yes, that's all right. That's local style. That they put me in the back, I don't like being up front. Ooh, and as uh, Kenny saying, how's it to SD Dodger? All right, now we're going to play uh, our first uh, song. And this one um, is, uh, you know, it's a little Vance mode ditty. You know, remember he used to make these little songs? And uh, we're talking about many places in Hawaii. So this is fitting. We're going holo holo. <gasps> but first. Who? When you come to Oahu, take a look around, 
So many wonderful things are waiting to be found. Some places for gold. Ala Moana Diamond Head, the Kapiolani Park. Friday fireworks in Waikiki, Wednesday get dark. Sandy Beach, Rabbit Island, and the blowhole at Makapu. One nice hike to the lighthouse might be good fun too. part of the Daily Pigeon when we first started. He and I would talk, organize the shows, put it together, but uh, then <gasps> he fell in love, I know, with a job. And uh, now he's doing, I think, house inspections, and he moved in with a lovely young lady and uh, decided that he has a life and he wants to lead it. What's that like for you, sir? I know. Okay, now uh, on this next um, editorialized video, what? Like rename the Big Island or what? Let's bacchanize it. The Big Island, Hawaii Island, or the Island of Hawaii. Whatever you call it, <laughs> some want to revisit changing its official name. Bryce Moore reports. For residents of our state's largest island, the name of where they live is pretty self-evident. Big Island um, has been around for years, and that term uh, is hard for people to sometimes get away from. But when speaking with folks from the mainland, there can be confusion. And I guess they didn't look at a map because they literally asked me how long it would take me to drive to Waikiki. It can even get tricky for state representatives. I think for someone like me who was, you know, born and raised in Hilo, it's always going to be the Big Island. Um, and I think I'm trying my best to kind of navigate that when I'm um, in an official capacity because depending on the event you're attending, it might be the Big Island, it might be Island of Hawaii, it might be Moku o Keawe. The Hawaii Board on Geographic Names, which falls under the State Office of Planning and Sustainable Development, will meet Tuesday at 2 p.m. to discuss. You know, this brother was using his official capacity voice. <laughs> 
The agenda says it's possible a decision could be made, changing the current official name, Island of Hawaii. The Hawaiian Homelands Department says the two options on the table are Hawaii or Hawaii Island. So there may be an opportunity to kind of bring things in so that it's a little bit more consistent without a significant name change. And since it's seemingly a matter of word placement, I asked the resident, would you be open to the idea of changing the official name of the island? Hawaii Island works because then you have uh, yeah. Oahu and all the other islands. I vote for Hawaii Island. But County Council Vice Chair Dr. Holeka Inaba says the Board on Geographic Names is responsible for designating official names for geographic features. Adding in parts through a statement, I do not believe it meant an entire island, so I question whether the Hawaii Board on Geographic Names has the authority to change the name at all. Always we'll have a link somebody. to tomorrow's meeting if you'd like to tune in on khon 2 Com. Bryce Moore, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii. Never thought I'd see my son using air quotes. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. Oh, yeah, right, Dad. Uh, you notice he went, never thought I'd see my son using air quotes. And then he went up like an octave. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, yeah, right, Dad. I could tell. <sighs> What's wrong with air quotes? I know, because, uh, hey! Oh, gee, sumo vibe, how you be, Stu? Mahalo nui loa for being here. Uh, <clears throat> OG sumo vibe uh, has a, a show on Twitch. Whenever other streamers show up on your stream, oh, you are happy about that. So, thanks, eh, you bugger. All right, um, let's see. What do you think about that? What do you say? Um, you know what? I have said Big Island for so long, and then, eh, it's Hawaii Island. And now, you know, just like instead of saying mainland, you know, I'm trying to say continent, but you know, you get ingrained after uh, <clears throat> so many years. I like Big Island, you know, because it's the biggest island. And when you say Hawaii Island, you know, people who are unfamiliar with the state get all. You <laughs> know, what? I know. <clears throat> Hey, how's it? How's it? Two how's it? Oh, hollow, bro. You just didn't bust them out. That's how's it squared. Thanks, eh? OG Sumo Vibe. A Watts 45 says, Big Island, more better. Yeah, I like Big Island. You know? Or maybe, you know, by the way, for those of you going, well, what's the big deal? Because I guess from now on, you know, the federal maps and all that kind of stuff. They're going, yeah, you guys are all over the place. Pick a name. I'm like, bro, you know, it's just Hawaii. Everything get five names, <laughs> right? Shave ice. No, I shave. No, snow cone. No, it's a, you know. I know. Well, we don't say snow cone, but uh, there are people that do. I can't wait to go on vacation in Hawaii. Yeah, well, that's not. <clears throat> okay, I think people that live on Big Island say Hawaii Island. Molo, uh, what? Uh, Mokihana says that. Oh, that's, it. that's your sister. Yeah, yeah. She, oh, does she? They say Hawaii Island. Well, because to them, they, they're used to playing, uh, paying plenty for gas, so to them, the island not that big. Yeah. <laughs> what? You're like, oh, corner for lunch. We go. Better start now, 9 o'clock, so when we get there. <laughs> oh, man. Um, it's hard not to say Big Island. It is, def you know, that's funny that you say it's difficult because I find it hard. The Big Island. The Blaisdell will always be H-I-C to me. <laughs> oh, now you're showing your age. I know. I, you know, Kenny, you know, I, I used to do this bit in my act. Maybe I'll bust it out again about how you can tell how old somebody is because you know only old people give directions using landmarks that aren't there anymore <laughs> you ever run into that okay you know what a stadium used to be yeah no no termite palace okay you just pass that and remember where a hula supply used to be yeah yeah okay and you keep going and then you get to the new that grocery store that used to be star okay right there you make one you t you know Go, go, turn right where, where it used to have that theater, but of course not there. <laughs> I know. Ah, oh, I like Big Island, Mainland, Cam School. Nah, Cam School, that's a, that's a no-no. <laughs> I know. Uh, I know. 
you say camp school around people who went to Kamehameha, and they'll say, it wasn't founded by a Chinese man. Robert Casamaro said that to me one time, and whoo, brain tattoo. I know. Ah, we, uh, we stay saying Big Island, okay? I know, I say Big Island too. I still say HIC, uh, Hawaii International Center, and Holiday Mart, wow. <laughs> uh, older islands in the, uh, I should be doing this on the big board, you know what I mean? Uh, okay, let's see, older islands in the archipelago, wow. Let's change archipelago, what do you say? Ooh, get howling names. Well, wow, they used to call the, uh, uh, Hawaii the, the Sandwich Islands. Do you remember this? Because it was named after that Duke of Sandwich. I know. Let's see, Big Island, and it's growing bigger. That's right. Big Island is the only place that adage, hey, one thing about land, they don't make it anymore, doesn't work, right? Ooh, that kind of Hawaii, like that. I know. Let's see who else is here. Hey, Christine, uh, who's this? Uh, uh, right here. My vote is Big Island. Yeah, I go for Big Island. I find that it's hard to remember to say Continental USA instead of Mainland, but I try to. Yeah, well, you know, the groove is if they're Maine, what are we? Mina. You know? <laughs> I know. Anyway, Scotty boy, Kona, the first place I ever saw a sign that said volcano, 100 miles. <gasps> wow, when you went in the opposite direction. <laughs> Mahalo, Gordon. Oh, okay. So now, let's see what it was we get. Uh, uh, Jeff uh, Mertzberger says, oh, I remember people saying that if you haven't, been to the big island you haven't been to hawaii <laughs> oh that's true on a couple fronts isn't it ah let's see what else we got what maharishi what they're gonna call them las vegas <laughs> oh what they're gonna call las vegas the ninth island already get one name i know duke of sandwich was captain cook's sponsor aha Thank you, uh, Namaste. And I knew he was a sponsor, but, uh, you know. You know, and that's why when uh, um, Captain Cook got off the boat, he was wearing a Duke of S a Sandwich t-shirt. I know. Do you know, you know uh, the, the Sandwich? I, people probably know this already. But the Duke of Sandwich liked to gamble. And he, want, he got hungry, but he didn't want to leave the table. So he would order bread and meat and then take the meat and put it between uh, you know, a piece of bread and eat it, and so he could keep gambling with the other hand, and that was how the word sand, uh, a sandwich came up. Ooh, Andy, maybe play one big island video. Yeah, I, you know, I should have thought of that, but again, I have everything all queued up, and then I'll have to do my clunky thing again. Okay, so uh, that was big island, but I tell you what, um, Oh, <laughs> this has nothing to do with the Big Island, but uh, it's Filipino reggae. Is that close enough? No, not even in the same zip code. But we're going to play it anyway. But first... Grab my bag and 
take my phone I shut the door and walk into the light Oh yeah and Suddenly my phone is ringing I can hear my boss shouting at me You know what? He wants me to hurry But I will not control my feet Even if my pocket's empty, I don't really want to go to work. It is so sweet under the sun. I'm gonna take my time. Okay, by the way, for those who may not know, um, back in the day, we took all these ethnic videos and put reggae over them. That was not the original uh, Filipino music for that video. In fact, sometimes I get a copyright strike <laughs> and have to clip it from the uh, VOD, which would stand for Video On Demand. Okay, oh, let's see. Oh, okay, back to the big board, and Polani said, we did that pole dancing in the gym. <gasps> you did pole dancing in the gym and not the Filipino thing? Wow, you must have made plenty of money, Polani. I know. I, I didn't even know you were Polish. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Mean, that kind. Oh, okay, uh, let's see. Not. Kind. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh. <laughs> I never do that dance. My ankles would be black and blue. Oh, man. Uh, hey, how's it, Felicia? Yes, our front row hottie here. Right in the front row in the middle. Careful. Uh, you let them pick their own name. Yeah, somebody was saying that maybe you let people on the big island pick their own name. And Jeff was going, oh, you might end up with something other um <laughs> like the ice cutter who Bodie mcboat face no nah, i don't know about that ah <laughs> oh okay oh thank you for all the who oh andy i'm sorry i apologize you know sometimes you know you get muscle reflex there from doing stand-up no <clears throat> Let's see. By the way, we're finished at the. Um, see, I rebooted uh, Pearl Ridge Shopping Center, the no vacancies. But next Wednesday, I'll be meeting with some people about uh, uh, who like who are interested in starting a club, and the at the Ward Warehouse. So we'll see if uh, what happens with that. But that's in like town. I'll have to drive up. 20 minutes instead of just a ha 15. Oh, I hope I don't get golf ball damage. That's coming up, by the way. Hey, Andy, any new drops uh, came in for the anniversary? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, uh, Rick sent me one. It looks like this. Oops. Uh-oh. Oh, I, I don't have it. Sorry. Wow. I thought I had it queued up, but evidently I didn't. But uh, Rick sent me one. And, and he's, you know, because we have our anniversary coming up. In fact, somebody else, uh, was it? Oh, um, Michael Anthony Smith sent a, hey, congratulations on four years. But I don't think that happens until May, right, Nani? I think so. Whatever. Okay. 
expect me to remember? Ooh, wait a minute. Okay, let's go back to another camera. Here we go. There we go. Okay, well, what's going on here? <sighs> like I know. Okay. <clears throat> By the way, for those who mes uh, may be just joining us, we have this camera, and then uh, we have this one here, and that one shoots this way. That's this camera here, so uh, you can see my other laptop, this kind of stuff. And then we have this one. This is the uh, camera over here that shoots this way, so you can see what keeps me up at night. And then, of course, uh, oh, April 30th. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Here's <laughs> just so you know, gang. Um, this is Nani. What she sends me, April thirtieth. So uh, you know, we call that the bat phone. Yeah, there we go. I know. Okay, but anyway, uh, and then um, where was I? Oh yeah, this one here, and this is so you can see. Uh, see that big deal right there? That's um, the, the, these are all the different things, and these are the videos. And anyway. Oh, and we have one more camera. There's this one. This is the iPhone here, facing this way, so that, um, you know, and that's the hair light back there, you know, see? So I get this. I mean, I don't even know if you can tell, but uh, that's what that is. Okay, so let's see what else was I going to do. I know you could guess, but what are the chances? Oh, okay, this is, a, uh, this is an editorialized video about how Maui is thinking of doing official legislation to put a moratorium on vacation rentals because they say people are coming in, buying houses, right? They don't care what it costs because they can get choke revenue back by making it a vacation rental and that that prices um, local people out of market i know agree well watch this and maybe your mind will change governor green announced yesterday that he's backed down from a moratorium on short-term rentals in maui county back community down. organizers are now focused on legislation that would give power to the counties to phase out high-priced vacation homes bryce moore reports the Lahaina Strong Community Group gathered at the Capitol today, saying they know a moratorium is no longer needed since displaced families have started to trickle in to more permanent housing. We still need to tackle this short-term rental issue because the short-term rental industry has exacerbated the housing market and made it way too expensive for anybody to even afford a family home here in Hawaii. Organizers are now highlighting legislation to give counties the power to gradually phase out short-term rentals. Giving counties the clear authority to phase out vacation rental uses is a key tool for helping Maui residents find adequate rental housing in the wake of the wildfires. Representative Ellie Cochran adds for some residents still without long-term housing, cutting the red tape to find it is simply too much. Organizers say 60% of Native Hawaiians in West Maui affected by the fire have left the island. You know, every time they get a different case manager, they have to retell their story. They have to gra get this paper, get it signed, go back. I mean, it's just been nonstop. We're almost nine months in and we haven't still built a home. A friend of mine committed suicide. There's deaths. And it is sad to have people move off, but it's even sadder when people are killing themselves. And nobody's saying that. Some new help is available. The Office of Hawaiian Affairs announcing one-time grants for Native Hawaiians affected by the fires, $9,000 to eligible homeowners and $4,000 to eligible renters. People worry if things are forgotten, if Lahaina is forgotten. This is a reminder for our community that help is there. Aside from the grant program and short-term rental legislation moving through the ledge, the state announced today it's acquired a former hotel in Kihei with 175 guest rooms to be used initially as temporary housing for oh. the displaced and eventually repurposed as a teacher and workforce rental housing project, opening up to wildfire survivors in early May. Bryce Moore, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii. Wow. And Namaste Zen says... Uh, <clears throat> Wait here, let's go to the big board. And it's uh, Namaste Sin says, I live in a tourist area. Short-term rentals are like dragging a whale-sized carcass 
into the neighborhood. Oh, man. Yeah, that's an <laughs> interesting way to put it. Thomas de San and Rick goes, <clears throat> got it. Right. Priority needs to be permanent homes for local people. The problem is, you know, a lot of these guys go, well, two months from now, we'll have it figured out. And, and you know, the people whose houses burn down says, I don't have two weeks, you know, a big part of it. How sad uh, that people are committing suicide. Well, ah, it's a rough one. I know. Okay. Let's get, off, let's get that off the screen. Terry in Scotland says, Hey, aloha, nani. Okay, there we go. Okay, so uh, let's see. Let's play another music video. And when in doubt, Bas Lono out. This is uh, Old McKenna Road. And by the way, uh, the video in this is not Old McKenna Road. Okay, and uh, I like this song because it's kind of a protest song, right? But uh, so let's play that. But first.
Ooh, you know what, um, G. Gamba, I do not n uh, know the um, story behind the old McKenna Road, but I think it was, um, uh, you know, uh, I'm guessing here, okay, Kenny would know better than me. He actually worked at the hotel, like you saw in his post, that led there, the old McKenna Road, right? But I think they said, oh, we're going to do this thing, but don't worry, we're not going to close the road. We want to make this development, but we won't close the road and like the song says they closed it anyway i know making all developers look bad evidently so <clears throat> that's what happened i think no quote me i might be wrong okay and um <laughs> let's see what the uh, chat has to say let's go to the big board maui uh maui prince my son-in-law Oh, uh, as the head chief there. Oh, yeah, I would love to hear uh, some Hawaii jazz. Hawaii jazz. Do you have anything that's kind of jazzy? I don't know. <clears throat> Ora Dixie Galloway. Hey, how are you, Ora Dixie Galloway? Don't think we've seen you here before, but mahalo. Uh, the only thing I can think of, well, we have a lot of blues stuff, but uh, not know any... I don't know what kind of jazz you like too. There's all kinds, but you know, mine is my favorite is that straight ahead jazz. But um, <clears throat> I'm more. Ooh, siokumi, aloha, aloha siokumi. How are you? Look at that avatar. We use and for the new people, we use this big board because we want the the uh, avatars to be as big as possible. Who? Yeah, the George mentioned in the line. George, I know you're. Uh, uh, you're watching the money changing hands. Um, was that city council member who was behind the development? Oh, I get it. Yeah. You know, and I love uh, who, who posted, yeah, nice tune, but harsh words. The perfect protest song. Hawaii Jazz. Is that slack key? Oh, yeah, that might work. Yeah. Hey, good, good suggestion. Um, let me see. The line, a uh, little beach, uh, I'll see you there, is in reference to the nude beach. Uh, yeah, little McKenna Beach. Yeah, that's funny. Um, I've been here before. I'm using a different um, name. You remember, uh, oh, yes, uh, Vanessa Sora. <laughs> okay, Vanessa Ora. Vanessa Ora. I'm sorry. Okay, and then the Ora Dixie. Yeah. Um, I, but we still don't have any real jazz. What kind of jazz do you like, uh, Aura Dixie? What is your favorite? Because, you know, there's, there's, uh, well, let's not get into that. Nani Aloha would be the expert, by the way. Not I, said the yellow chicken. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, that was, the, okay, this next one here, um, Oh, man, we're eating up time today. Um, this next one, they built a um, state-of-the-art recording studio in a high school to encourage young people to record music, especially that of the ukulele, if I am not mistaken. See if you can tell what high school this is, too, by the way. You know, I do these things kind of quickly, and I wasn't able to tell, but... We'll see. Check this out. George? Oh. One, two, three, go. Well, I was approached by um, our principal. And he asked me, hey, you know, uh, you're a sound engineer, and you know, we are thinking about building a sound recording studio. You think we can do this? And um, naively, I said, yeah, of course we can build a sound recording studio without <laughs> knowing the of journey course. that we will have to take with the DOE to get to this point. When I heard about the resources, the financial resources that we will be receiving, I thought that we should build the best. We should build the best for our young people, for our school system. I met John Storick, and John Storick is legendary. He's a world-renowned studio designer. So I asked him, can, 
would he be willing to build this? And he didn't hesitate. He said, yes. I need another seven feet. Okay. We started building this studio in 2018. And as you can see, this is a really a, a world-class studio. To their credit, Walter Story designed this company and John Story's credit. And for this really? studio, um, it's really one of the major feature of this studio is the, uh, the acoustics, how these rooms sound. Uh, you can walk around the room, you can play around with the room to hear, you know, we say we pick one of the ukulele, the prehistoric ukulele. What would it sound like in the center of this room or in the corner of that room? Or go into one of our isolation room where the sound becomes more, we call it tighter, or more intimate. You know, what would it sound like? So the possibility of experimenting with the different characteristic of how the instrument will react to the environment is really one of the biggest feature of this studio. This studio is built to educate our young people. This studio is to build to support our culture. This studio is here to support our, um, our, our local artists first. And so it's a perfect project. What better project can you have for the very first project for this studio? I think we need to pay attention. Our young people need to pay attention to who we are. And, and what a better way than it being able to hear this instrument recording in this studio and would be archived, you know, in our state archive by Adam. This is amazing. Really? Leilani Mitchell, I know it isn't YNI High School. <laughs> well, YNI has a state of the art uh, video studio thanks to Sea Rider Productions, uh, Candy Suiso, and that group over there. I've been to that studio, and they produce video. This is sound recording, which is a whole different animal. You know, the, uh, Y&I has small booths where they can do voiceovers and such, but this is like a legit, you know, sound type thing. I know, sound type thing. So you know I'm an expert on the subject when I use terms like sound like thing i know you're impressed no problem <clears throat> washington middle school makale mo'ili ili neighborhood was it was that it for some reason you know i'm doing other things i didn't pick up on it okay <clears throat> aloha bobby tsunami oh thanks for the info mahalo bobby thank you and for those of you unfamiliar with Bobby's avatar, one of my favorites, let's throw him on the big board. Look at that. Oh, it color contrast and everything. By the way, for those uh, who uh, haven't noticed, there are different people like here. Devin's on, um, on YouTube. Um, Darlene's on Twitch. And then, uh, you know, we're on a number of... Uh, we never get anybody from LinkedIn or Rumble or Kick or uh, even, um, well, well, we get some Facebook. Let's see, anybody here on, are we on Facebook today? Because I, I just realized I haven't seen anybody on Facebook. Let me, let me see if we are, in fact, here, wait, this, this, this will be, see, we're here, okay. I'm going here and I'm going to Facebook. Yeah, there's Facebook. And, uh, oh yeah, okay. I see uh, Krista Lynch and um, David Park. Aloha from San, uh, um, San Jose, California. Why haven't I seen you guys in this one here? And uh, Jeff uh, Mertzbacher is uh, careful you don't let them pick their own name. Yeah, see, Sal Salvador, I'm on Facebook. There he goes. So let me see uh, if, if we're here. I'm going to the end here. For some reason, uh, you guys aren't showing up in the main feed here. I just noticed that. Oh, well, that's a bummer. Oh, here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, um, Kenny's on. Okay. Whew. Boom. So Kenny, Kenny there is on Facebook, and so is, um, who else was it? Oh, yeah, here, uh, Christine. 
Thank you. I'm on Facebook. Aloha from South Carolina. Okay, there we go. So we are seeing the Facebook messages. The problem, of course, is that if you're on Facebook and that's where you're watching the show, you don't get to see what all the other people are posting, which is the reason that I put, you know, so many of the, uh, um, like June uh, Kabasic here, I, I, I put her on the main screen so people on Facebook can see what other people are doing. Oh, here, Cash Bright, Aloha. Uh, I'm watching a few Sea Rider production videos. Some of them are so funny. Good for students to have a creative outlet. Oh, man, I wish I would. You know, when I, w I went to y in our high school, and of course, never have that. And the woman who started it, that's right, um, her and I um, went to um, school together there. I mean, literally sat in dex desks next to each other when I showed up. Yeah, and that would be Candy Suiso, which is her married name. She used to be Candy de Guzman. Ooh, I just switched over to YouTube. Okay, there we go. Uh, and Nani says, Aloha, f uh, um, well, hey, let's, let, let's put you on the big board because you in right plenty stuffs, Nani, aloha. Yeah, uh, viewers on other platforms may be saying hello to you, but Facebook doesn't allow the whole chat if you're here. There we go. See, that explains it. And look how nice it looks filling up the whole screen, Nani. Cool, eh? Oh, man. Hi, Andy. Long time no see. Uh, Facebook user, uh, Aloha from Virginia. Uh, we can't tell who you are, Facebook user, because you're on the Facebook user group, right, for Daily Pigeon Live, which I understand they're going to end uh, here soon. So, you know, sorry about that. I have no control over it. Oh, nasty Twitch. Oh, you jumping all over the place. Ah, eh, Kenny. Food. Yeah, it's because you're used to having plenty of jobs. So, you know, <laughs> only easy, yeah. Uh, hello, everyone. Yeah, there we go. Uh, got, you got close. It's uh, A L O H A. Aloha. What alo is your face, right? And ha is the breath of life. The ancient Hawaiians used to touch faces and go, ah. so alo. That's where aloha came from. Whew. I know, Andy, back in the day. Oh, no more GoPro. Was was Kodak Super? <laughs> it's me, uh, Ivan. Oh, hi, Ivan. How are you? Well, if you get back on one of the other uh, platforms, I'll be able to see your avatar. Um, you mean uh, uh, Ivan from Kamehameha? Is that Ivan, uh, Ross's friend? I hope so. I know. I know a few Ivans. <clears throat> including Yvonne Ellerman. <laughs> I don't know if she spells her name like that, but spelling. Oh, yes, it is. Hi, Yvonne. How are you? Oh, great historical insight. Oh, mahalo nui loa. We'll see. Okay, now we're going to, uh, let's see, <clears throat> take a look at um, a, another video, okay? And this one is not a Hawaii video. Uh, sometimes I goof around and do uh, videos that do not have, um, you know, a tie to Hawaii. I just like the song and sometimes felt like doing different things. I made these a couple of years, all these videos a couple of years ago. But um, anyway, so <clears throat> let's play this one. I want to make sure I cue up the right one. And at one, two, three, four. So this one... Uh, it's in, I think, Italian, or, uh, but it, it talks about a woman who's tired of being home. She's bored, and she's telling her friend, let's go to that bar where the men are so handsome, they make you nervous, and I am going to kiss the ones that taste like rum. How cute is that? Anyway, uh, let's play that. But first. Bar. Girl the bucket. There you go. Mahalo, Papi Cheney, for gift subbing Chigamba. Vado fuori questo caos, mi mente paranoia, stampo e faccio un get out. Se corri come me, o corri come me, magari io te lo sai. Potremmo star solidamente, magari. 
magari stanotte buttarci in spiaggia con un archile Vieni con me, cerchiamo un altro club, solo io e te, dai Mahalo Rick S for gift subbing Maharishi Mahalo Rick S for gifting SD Danja! Woo! Bagayo! Look at that. Oh, by the way, check this out. Thank you so much, everybody. I see here on Twitch, Hype Train, 93%. And we got about four minutes left on level one. Mahalo Nui Loa. Um, if you don't know what a Hype Train is, um, that's where people donate uh, bits or what we call biddies. And then uh, after so many um, donations, it creates a Hype Train. And uh, that's, that's what we're looking at here. Let me show you, um, if I do this, unplug this, and go here. <clears throat> you see right there? Look at that. Hype train. And this is, um, these are all the people on Twitch. You see what I'm talking, so what I'm seeing there? Yeah, there we go. And uh, that's why I have this um, there, right there. Okay, boom. And we'll put back over here in case we need it again and mahalo to everybody if can can don't worry about it if cannot okay but uh thanks ah i know okay so now we're going to take a look at um <clears throat> how an errant golf ball when make small kind demo on this lady's car and she's going um no one's liable for that I'm not a golfer. My car is not a target at a driving range. What happened? Rick S. has gifted a sub to Michael Anthony Smith. By the way, uh, Michael Anthony Smith, I got your video. Okay, I have to put it together. That was very nice. I guess that was you uh, in your radio gig, right? Because I saw the studio and the uh, mm, big microphone. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hey, look, we're on level two now. Thank you so much, you guys. 
Um, 22% on level two on hype train action. Okay, wait a minute now. Let's go uh, take a look at the big board here. And uh, hey, come on. Uh, Michael Anthony Smith. Yep. Yeah, I needed to go. I, I need to go to bed. Yeah, I know you get up early. I can't even. I'm surprised you uh, <laughs> even when show face. Okay. Yeah, that uh, and, and that was you uh, uh, in your radio gig. Okay. <clears throat> I wish you. Um, I, I saw a glimpse of the call letters, but I couldn't really tell. Okay, Michael Anthony Smith, get some rest. There we go. Okay. <laughs> if uh, for those who are new, um, Michael has a, a early morning radio gig, so he comes here, shows face, and then realizes what was I thinking, and then. Ali Aku. I know. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so let's see. What were we? Okay. Oh, yes. Again, thank you for the hype train. Here is an errant golf ball action. Okay. And there's video, which is hard to do when you're talking golf ball. Hawaii is known for its scenic golf courses, but sometimes those golf balls don't stay on the green. As Eddie Dab reports, <laughs> Especially a recent when I incident play. caught on camera is prompting a discussion about liability. Reports of golf balls hitting homes and even cars driving alongside the road are prompting safety concerns and raising the question, who's exactly responsible if a ball does cause damage? This Nanakuli resident was driving home Wednesday on Farrington Highway near the Ko'olina Golf Course when her dash cam captured the moment a golf ball struck her car. I didn't realize that I had a dent on my car until I, until I, after seeing the video where the impact had happened, then I could verify, okay, yeah, I got hit. There's a golf ball dent on my hood. Alicia says she doesn't know who hit the ball. We reached out to Ko'olina Golf Course and are waiting to hear back. How many people is this happening to and how many unreported reports could there be out there if it wasn't for me having a dash cam? Brian. I would say 100% unreported. <laughs> Some guy shanks it. Oh, no. And it goes, it's heading to the freeway. Wasn't me, bro. Lays another ball down. I would say 100%. That's where I would go. Hey. Oh, no. All my alerts are blocking this, so I, I have a hard time starting it again. Higa lives across from the Bayview Golf Course in Kaneohe. Look at this. He says sometimes balls occasionally swerve and hit homes in the neighborhood. Maybe a few when hit the house, but no broken windows. Bayview Golf Course in a statement told H&N they have increased their poles and nets at their driving range from 50 feet to 85 to reduce balls from hitting homes. It also has implemented technology on its driving range to track shots. But it also points out there are many golf courses in Hawaii with homes around them, and the issue is not isolated to just their course. One golfer who did not want to go on camera confirmed she's seen educational signage on the course. Many golf courses that I've golfed at will actually even have signs um, posted on the tee box that will say, houses on the left, golfer is responsible for any damage caused by errant golf balls. When it comes to liability, many golf courses argue it lies with the golfer, but some golfers we talk to say that can be hard to track. A buddy of mine actually had a golf ball hit his car um, in a parking lot, and wow. unfortunately no one came forward, so I believe he just had to file a claim through his insurance. People can file a small claims case against golf oh, courses if they're you, willing to pay the legal fees. There is precedent for legal action. In 2022, a jury awarded a Massachusetts family nearly $5 million in damages from a neighboring golf course after reportedly getting bombarded by golf balls. Bombarded? For Alicia, she says she will likely end up paying her $500 deductible, but hopes sharing her story creates a discussion around the issue. Eddie Dowd, Hawaii News Now. Wow. You know, <clears throat> this is a true story. Uh, Lori Castillo, um, her, her father, Ron Castillo, used to be a um, pro out there um, on the east side, the golf course over there. And I went golfing with her one time, right? And she was a very good golfer. And she said to me, you know, Andy, I have to be honest. I really enjoy golfing with you. I said, really, Lori? That's nice of you to say. She says, yeah, because 
You know, I grew up on this course, and when I golf with you, I see parts of it I've never seen before. <laughs> oh, boy, I love golf humor. Okay, <clears throat> anyway. Ah, let's see. Had we, we weren't live, we could all tell our, our favorite golf jokes. They have great jokes. <clears throat> Golf ball sized hail. Oh, yeah, that's a whole nother thing. It ruins cars, totals them. I've saw them. And they, they have softball sized hail in some places. Oh, too funny. And yes, I know. Thank you, Devin. Oh, Robin Williams had a great golf bit. Oh, he had all kinds of great bits. Oh, man. Okay. <clears throat> so now, let's see. Uh, that was the golf. Um, Errant golf ball. Oh, yeah, someone said, hey, you hardly pay hard shot anymore. So we're going to do that. Hard shot was um, our collaboration. I think uh, uh, Kenny Roberts sings it. Alona uh, was producing it. <clears throat> uh, Kamoela Man shot it. I edited it and color corrected it. So it was a true Hamajang collaboration. Okay? But um, before we do that, let's see which, let's get the right one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Gotta make sure I hit the right button. Here is the pre-roll. Everybody's feeling fine 
Like all good things must come to an end, yeah. You wake up, your head aches, you don't learn. Well, let's do it again. That's a hard shot, easy, easy bullet. Cause you know that hard shot, easy, easy bullet. <laughs> with a little cameo of Kamala Man in there. Um, <clears throat> by the way, he sent me an email and saying that he wanted to thank all the people who um, supported him. He was going through some medical issues. I guess some people sent flowers, but certainly emails and texts and whatever else communication you guys use. So we just want to say mahalo, hamajang gang. Okay, and speaking of uh, Mahalos, um, I added the names of the people who recently joined Patreon. Um, you can join there at patreon.com, become a, <coughs> excuse me, become a monthly user, um, or um, on YouTube by clicking the join button, okay? And um, I don't think I missed anybody, but, uh, um, and before we get to G, G Gamba says, uh, is there a link to find um, Lono's old Makeno Road song? Um, I would check uh, lonomusic.com. I don't know if um, Mad Statter is still here. She's the Lolo Lolobrarian or Lonobrarian, depending on how she feels. But the Lonobrarian would know where to find it and what album it's on. But check out uh, lonomusic.com. Okay, so uh, let me play this little uh, video I threw together. Okay, oh, what's this, Yvonne? Oh, Yvonne, you you went to YouTube. I was so happy to see you back doing what you love and do best. Different last name. I got married. Oh, oh, Yvonne, congratulations, boy. <clears throat> Somebody scored, and I'm talking about him. Okay. She's a lovely person, so nice, OMG. Okay, um, let me play this here. Here we go. Yeah, uh, sorry, Mad Statter. I don't know how that capital Z ended up at the back of your name, but it's just Mad Statter, not Mad Statter. Zzz. Okay, although I'm sure she's made that noise on occasion. Okay, all right, gang, that's pretty much it. Uh, we're 15 minutes past the hour. Uh, we didn't get to the news item about the teenager that was burning rubber and went inside the Wahiwa Harbor, but that's basically it. Nobody was hurt, and the slip he fell into usually had a boat, and the boat wasn't there. So that brought out a lockout big time. Okay, 
There we go. Mahalo for being here, Gangi. Yes, that comes from Shakalaka. Um, we have a number of moderationists like Shakalaka, right? That's Shakalaka. We have uh, Nani Aloha, who is also an associate producer. Um, <clears throat> we have Devin, uh, Rick S., and C. Honda, who is not here today. And those people, like I always say, so good at keeping the bowling ball on the alley and out of the gara. Okay, so thanks to hey, you guys. And thank you, Hamajang Gang, for being here. Really appreciate it. Okay. Oh, uh, Ole Pilikia, uh, Mama Sean. Ooh, mod love to the Mac. I know. The mod squad. Yay. Okay. <clears throat> so now. It's time to, oh, hey, aloha, Andy, and Hamajang Gang. Thank you for the great song, uh, uh, Kenny in Kihei. That's Kenny Roberts right there. That was him singing, hot shot. <laughs> I love that. You know, your head hurts. <laughs> Let's do it again. I know, that's right. You know what's coming up, Lady Misty. So what do you say we do that right now? Counting down till we hit the button for finish the show. Three, two. One. <laughs> 